Hello, this is Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalist Forest Catholic Ottomans. And yeah, let's get into it. We can rival the Platinate, which is... well, I did not expect that. The game must think I'm very weak right now, which is a little bit upsetting. Okay, uh, we are about to attack Vijayanaga. Or Vij I'm not sure how to pronounce that. We do have a ton of claims on them, so we should be fine not paying any Diplo points. Let's uh, distribute our forces at the border so that we can just advance into their territory without any major problems. Like that. Also, I should definitely um, enable the forts bordering them. And I can add, apparently, I can add some provinces to trade companies. Uh, it did tell me that I could add one. Oh, well, those ones, of course. Here we go. Mm, there's a, quite a bit of unrest here. I think I should probably increase autonomy in this region. Oh no, adding it to the trade company reduces it by 10? How? Does it get rid of separatism? It halved the separatism and did some other stuff. Weird, but... Uh, Sure, I, I I can go with that. And this belongs to Castile. A little bit of a pain in, pain in the ass, I must say. Mm, rule the seas, really? Any known country has less heavy ships than Ottomans. 30. Mm, gives us morale of navies, ship cost, and navy tradition. I don't care about those things. And this is owned by um, by Portugal. Okay. Getting back to the matter at hand, let's uh, let our... Oh, did I create a trade company here? Oh, right, of course, we have um, direct land border, so it's a normal province for us. So no trade company in this region. So if we didn't have one, we would be getting a bonus merchant, but I think this w this is worth more. Especially since there there's gold there and such. Okay. Uh, crap, Castile is calling us to war against Jolof, Morocco and Yao. That is African nations. I could accept that, just to keep my alliance with Castile. Oh, wait a minute. If I accepted that, that would make me and Castile be in the same war. Mm, then I could attack France. If we pulled, mm, I would need to pull Aragon into a different one. Uh, no, no, this is not the time to attack France. Although we will be doing it at some point. What sort of map is this? Am I in the Imperial map mode? Yeah, France is holding a lot of Imperial territory. Um, I will accept this call to arms, but I will obviously not do anything. Um, yeah, let's get back to Vajanaga. Our troops are almost distributed, I should also enable this fort. Come on. Um, yeah, let's go down to speed 4. I'm not gonna fight a war in speed 5, that's just silly. Enable this one. And that is... oh, there's one more in this area. Okay, yeah, great. And the Pope likes me. Time to declare war on Vajrayanaga, and it will be a regular conquest, Cass's belly. Oh, I could call in Castile. Hmm, interesting. I will call in Andra as co-belligerent. Oh, right, I, I'm... no, wait a minute. We're almost done for Bukitian claim on Andra. Um... I'm actually okay with losing one stability. We can always buy it back for Papal Points. Okay, we now have a Conquest Castle's Belly against Andra. I will start fabricating another claim. Um, maybe on this province. Which one is richer? 11, and that one is 17. Yeah, the one beginning with K. And now, as soon as the diplomat returns, we will attack Vajayanaga. Come on. 
Here we go. Take um, something that can be quickly taken and held. Girdle works for me, and you will be called belligerent, and nobody else is called into war. Let's go! Right. Alright, you have a vassal here. Let's start it off like that. Just, you know, sieging everything. That should work. Oh, can I move here? I move you here immediately. There should be very small, a very small garrison. Maybe even no garrison, which will mean I will take the fortress, the fort immediately. Okay, and we do have two armies in the south, which I will use to conquer the green guys. Um, Andra. Also, Mawat, but uh, we already sent some people there. That is a huge army, and they're going this way. Might be attacking our people down there. Hmm. Okay, can move through here. Let's let's do it gradually, I suppose. Okay, you can move south because we can't really move past this area. Let's move them south. Also, um, can I give you a leader? How good is my heir? He's pretty good. Let's not make him a general. But um, I will hire another. He's decent. Because uh, if they're coming to kill us, we'll be needing that help. Okay, how deep can I go into enemy territory? Why can't I go here? Okay, at least we can siege this place. Oh, our super good general is down in this area. I will take her, because that's a woman, and use her to attack their main territory. Yeah, I see what they're doing. They're going to attack us here. Well, we do have a lot of troops. Might be able to resist. Uh, they're attacking back here, so let's try getting you... Can I get you out of there? Mm, eighth and... 12th, so you can just stay where you are. We might be able to survive this attack, but we probably won't. I mean, we will survive it, but we just want to win the battle. So that uh, gives us some breathing room up here. Uh, you guys should actually go to Basta. Oh, wait a minute, I can actually move through here. So you guys can help in our main battle. Yeah, let's do that. And you... You move to Rikur Doab, and you move to their capital. Hmm, seems like I'll lose the battle. 23rd. Oh, that's tomorrow. I might survive long enough for reinforcements. And reinforcements are coming. Hmm, maybe we won't even need them, because we are... Doing pretty well. And reinforcements are here. So, how should I play this? Can't move back there, can't move back there. That's my best general, so I'll better use her on the front lines. What? I, I just moved her here, and now I cannot go away? That's dumb, isn't it? Hmm... Okay, let's use you to... Uh, I will reorganize everything. You take the fort because it's important. You stay here. You take the other fort. And you guys try to not get too much attrition. And that's it. Mostly. Also, I'm waiting for my king to queen to die. Rebel uprising Timur... Timur... Timurid separatists. Where is that? Tashkent and Kokand. Is that in the north? Mm. I'll probably do it. Oh, that's a lot of revolt risk. Oh, right, overextension. That will go down quickly. It can wait. Alright, I took their capital. Which means I 
I will I can freely move into this fort, which will give us a connection, bringing all the troops together. Let's see how many Diplo points it would cost if I tried to sign a separate peace treaty. Too many. Speaking of Diplo points, it's time to take the tech level. Yeah, we are nearing the awesome Cass's belly. Okay, can I move in? Not yet. This needs to fall. Here, have more cannons. Make it quick. That's better. 70%. Then we'll move south and consolidate our power. Mm, can I reach our troops right now? Yes, yes I can. Okay, so you guys go and take the fort. And the big army with the good general will defend you against the big attack that is most likely coming. No, it's not. Not yet. Siege of Boss Star, that was quick. Mm, can I move up then? No. Where else do you have a fort I could siege? Down here. Okay, are you attacking or am I attacking? Mm, I will be the defender here. So you guys can stay where you are. And you can actually serve as reinforcements. Not that I will need reinforcement, but maybe you should. Yeah, you, you would do better. Um, this is two siege progress. I'll do it like that. And this is 10 siege progress, much more. I'll do it like that. And you guys first go help this battle, which won't be necessary. No, let me... Yeah, first go here, and then move... You know what, forget it. It's too much walking around. Fault system is so annoying sometimes. Okay. I only brought half the army? is going quite quickly. We have slightly better tactics and lo uh, lots more people. Okay, so this will split. No, oh, that's too many troops. I don't want all of them here. Um, let's move you south. Okay, tons of battles, mostly easy ones. And now that this is taken, Nope, can't go there yet. Also, um, you guys should be merged, because they are the armies that I separated, I think. Yeah, let's move all our good troops down south, maybe I'll be able to murder their armies. The right cores have been completed. Almost all of them. No longer have the conquest castles belly against France. Well, I wasn't going to attack them anyway. Oh, Papal Legate, please. Yes, Papal Legate, my favorite bonus. Here we go. Attack them. Maybe get a wipe? Who knows? We do have the superior general and the superior numbers. Well, we didn't wipe them, but we did inflict serious losses. Can't move past the province. Okay, cancel. Let's just get you here. From there, they will be able to attack any place, I think. Mm, I should probably station someone in their capital. Mm, you, maybe. Just in case they decide to go back. Where are they running to? You know what, I will take those three armies. And... Just follow the, their troops. Maybe we can do a wipe. Oh, you're here. That's not far. Not far at all. Okay, another fort. Hmm, which one should we attack? We'll probably attack both. Okay. Oh, that was a different battle. Mm, still no wipe. I think I should follow them. Keep following them. I mean... Okay, that is a different battle altogether. 
Maybe we can just, you know, kill them quickly. Mm, they recovered some morale, that is unfortunate. Palatinate is no longer a valid rival. <laughs> Not surprised. Okay, I would like to be the defender of the faith again. Still no wipe. I have a decent general, really. I suppose I will be able to enforce my demands shortly. Let's see what we could get. Only things we have claims on. Zero diplo power. Hmm, do I want lots of stuff or... Hmm, interesting. This is a lot of war score, but not much of extension. This is the other way around. All right, does it mean that stuff that I take from their allies is more expensive in terms of war score? Yes, yes it does mean that. Okay, let's just take stuff from them then. Mm, why don't I just go... along the border. I think I have claims on everything. And that's too much of an extension. Also, don't have a claim on it. Don't have a claim, have a claim. And that will work for me, actually. 99% of extension. And they will accept it. Mm, am I in zero of extension? Yes. Okay, I might take reparations from them as well. Uh, I don't need them to release anyone because it costs diplo power. Hmm. Just make them a protectorate. That is a lot of fun. Yeah, it's a bit late for protectorates. Mm, give me some cash and we'll call it quits. Here we go. Wonderful. Time to core everything. With our superior coring cost reduction powers. Now, autonomy. Do I want to increase it? Hmm. If I add it to a trade company, how will the autonomy change? The unrest change? It did change a little bit, but I uh, might as well increase the autonomy. Don't want to deal with any rebellions whatsoever. Just like that. Wherever we can, because we can't do it everywhere. Mm, and here? Where are some Timurid separatists? Where was that? Probably in this area. I don't really care about increasing autonomy, because... Um, I mean, that I don't care that it will reduce my income, because most of my income comes from um, this power base over here. Both this area and this area. Right, we'll be fine with unrest. How are we doing on advisors? I keep firing them. I will do it until I get a level 3 Diplo rep. This is very important to me. Mm, yeah, I think I'll need to wait for War Exhaustion to take down for a while. Also, hmm. Who's my next target? Let's think. Because if it's Orissa, I should probably bring some troops down here. How many armies? I suppose three armies down here will be reasonable be enough to conquer Mongyang if we decide to do it. Okay. And the rest... Oh crap, I'm still at war with Jolof. Okay, separate piece. So you go wherever. And you go... Hmm, who's our next target? Orisa? Let me see the claims that I have. I have quite a bit of claims on Orissa. Yeah, I think they, are, they will be the next ones to get attacked. So let's fabricate some more. Mm, Alright, so you guys will attack from... I don't need all of those troops here. You could be attacking two people at once. Well, let's, some of them, let's send some of them north, maybe. Now, I will keep uh, five units in this area. And the rest can just return home to wherever they want. Yeah, I didn't need all my troops. 
too many, too many, too many soldiers. Okay, and pausing. Now the rebels, Timurid separatists, Tashkent and Kokand. Where's Tashkent? Up here. Mm, yeah, can't increase autonomy. Fortunate. Yarkand. Mm, let's get back to the autonomy map mode. Is there anywhere else I could increase it? No. I mean, if the rebels rise up, we'll deal with them. For now, I will reduce army maintenance to the almost minimum, so that we actually get reinforcements. Uh, yes, everyone can have military access. What else? What else? Rule the seas, establish Ottomans in the Spice Islands, conquer Algeria. Nothing new. Uh, too many military leaders. I can live with that. Although I would like to take the next tech level soon. No, no, I do like my leaders. Okay, and forts will be mothballed. Give me cash again. Should probably destroy some forts. Hmm, like this one. I don't really need it. Although it is guarding passage. Well, let's destroy this one. Ostruda. Doesn't need a castle. France, a bitter enemy. How much do you dislike me, people from the HRE? You, for example, Palatinate. Aggressive expansion, 20. That is, that is nothing. If we keep in mind how much I took. Okay, we lost a statesman. That we were not using, but still we lost a statesman. I'm going to fire you all until I get a statesman. Level 3, preferably. Excellent supplies, sure. Okay, did I get a statesman? Level 2 again, crap. Uh, to be honest, I'm not going to use a level 2. I really need this technology level, so let's fire them all. Anything else? Yeah, right, some more conversions. Always nice to have paper points. I did just spend some on the paper legate, and we are not at full stability. So the points are very, very welcome. Mm, uh, I suppose we don't really need all those generals. I will... I will fire you, Ahmed. Also, those people are suffering attrition, and you don't need, they don't need to be suffering attrition. Is anyone else suffering attrition? No, just those three. Alright, wonderful. Who else will we be attacking? They don't have any allies. Mm, Lanna and Assam. Yeah, Mongyang is a good target, but I have claims on everything I can take from them. I should probably start fabricating on Yakant again. Our truce will soon be over. Anything on disputed succession? Not really. Okay. You know what? Maybe I shouldn't be letting my troops rest. Let's just attack them immediately. It won't stop my coring, will it? I don't think Orissa has any cores in this area. So, forts up. At least some of them. Oh, also I need to add provinces to trade companies, right? Well, where would that be? Here we go. Just a little while. Should get a bonus merchant soon. At least it reduces the rest a little bit. And that is it. Alright, show me my subject. Yes, we're getting another merchant. I currently control... Well, where is that region? Which region is that? Turkish Konkan Charter, West India, East India. That would be here. Oh, I am about to expand it by attacking Orissa, so... Yay! Romandel Charter. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of it. 
And North India will probably be next. North India has how much? 32%. Hmm. That's a lot of money from trade. Really, really a lot of money from trade. Hmm. Okay, okay, let's continue. Troops are getting ready. Time to fabricate some more claims, maybe. I will start another one on Orissa just in case, and then I will attack. Revolt. Okay, good thing we have troops ready. Here you go, then. And overextension is not a problem. Right. Orissa, fabricate a claim on whatever. And declare war as soon as is possible. All right, and I have a free merchant. I should probably send him out, mm, send him out to trade before I declare the war. Hmm. It would be useful somewhere where he would actually be able to steer trade towards us. Here it doesn't really matter. It matters slightly in Crimea. A lot of, a lot of trade is going through Astrakhan, but we don't have power here. Mm. This is all going... Oh, this is going in the proper direction, so I don't really need to transfer trade power from here. And what, there's no trade power here? Oh, it's all going north. I don't want it to be going north, I want it to be going to the Gulf of Aden. So here is where I will transfer. Should also send someone to Crimea. Right, I was supposed to attack Orissa right now. Mm, hello, Orissa. Goodbye, Orissa. Uh, no, I'm not calling anyone into the war. Oh, that reminds me, I should probably improve my relations with uh, Castile. Because we did kind of abandon them in the last war. Alright. A quick attack. We go from the north, and can I move through Vajayanaga? No. I will need this general, so let's let's move them in as well. I mean, that will be more than enough to attack and gain victory against them. Mm, yeah, those rebels will be killed soon. Now, anything else? Anything else? No. Oh, right, it's time to end the episode now, so yeah, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.